Let's talk about X-rated capacitors, across the line capacitors. You find them in these AC line filters, like here, and here's another one here, and uh, one over here. Now, they're uh, placed between the line and the neutral, and they're designed to fail open, but they can fail in a short, and they need so they need to be fused. And they're used to filter EMI and RFI. Now, EMI, electromagnetic interference, and there's two types. There's conducted, it's unwanted high frequency that rides on a AC wave, and there's radiated, unwanted radio broadcast. Now, uh, RFI, radio frequency interference, is just a subset of noise in the EMI spectrum. Now, there's uh, actually three classes. There's X, uh, X2, and there's an X3, actually. X is, has a higher peak voltage rating, and those are used more in industry. These here are all X2, and uh, they can withstand uh, a pulse of uh, 2.5 kilovolts. And these are more for uh, household appliance type stuff. Now, we want to find the capacitive reactance at different frequencies, so we're going to use this formula. But uh, we're going to put it into a spreadsheet to make, uh, make the math easier for us. Here we are at the spreadsheet, and if we click on this cell here, we have the formula for capacitive reactance. So the value in this cell is going to be equal to 1 divided by uh, 2 times 3.14, 2 pi, times the value in column B times the value in column C. Now, we don't have to keep typing in this formula each time. We just can come over to the, the last one and, and drag down here. And we'll fill, hit fill down, and it puts in the formula for us. We're in row 20, and you'll see here we have B20 and C20 here. Uh, for our amps over here, um, it's just the value in uh, column A divided by the column in, in the value D was going to give us our amps. Uh, it's not really relevant for these uh, 120 volts down here, but uh, we can fill this down there nonetheless. We'll fill that down, hit fill, down. And we'll put those uh, formulas in there. That's row 20 there. Now, this is our uh, column for farads. And it's going to be 0.1 microfarad. And we're just going to fill that down also. Now, this is our frequency in hertz. And uh, we're going to fill those down too. Now, in this case, we want to fill a series. And we want to fill it down for... Uh, and we want to hit columns and uh, one, and a one megahertz, I think. So one million. And let's stop at uh, ten million. Okay. Well, if I had filled on further, we would have gone to ten million. I won't bother with 120. It's probably not relevant over here. Uh, but you can see that at 60 hertz. We've got uh, 26,000 ohms. You're only going to drop maybe 4 milliamps across that, that uh, capacitor. But as the frequency increases, the uh, resistance goes down. And uh, at, at these higher frequencies, uh, you know, it's down to 2 ohms, 1 ohm down here. So uh, it's going to dissipate all that uh, uh, EMI energy across the, uh, across the capacitor and uh, either keep it from going back on the line or keep it out of out of your system so now one last thing here is uh, these kilohertz and megahertz in order to put that in there you have to come over here uh, you know you right click on it go to format cells go to numbers go to custom and you have to type this number in in order to get your uh, kilohertz and uh, megahertz uh, if you do that, if you don't do that, you can just do it with, uh, you know, the whole numbers. But that's how you get your megahertz and uh, kilohertz. So that's uh, how you work on the spreadsheet. And uh, it makes the math easier. You don't have to uh, keep doing it over and over again. So anyway, uh, thank you.